Here's Curtis with today's good news stories on 107 Country PSK. Number one, a miracle baby in England recently went home after 112 days in the hospital. His mom had an emergency C-section at 26 weeks and he weighed just one pound and 10 ounces. Doctors had to resuscitate him for 17 minutes before he started breathing, but now he is up to eight pounds and doing a lot better. Number two, last year, a high school volleyball star in Colorado named Zoe Rollins was partially paralyzed in a car crash. She still has a long way to go and she's in a wheelchair, but she's a fighter. And now she has regained the feeling down to her knees. Last month, she won homecoming queen. And with some help from a parent, she managed to stand up at a volleyball game, serve a ball over the net, and the place went crazy. All of her teammates rushed the court. We went around a turn a little too fast and then we went off the left side of the road and rolled down a hill seven times. I broke five vertebrae in my back and then my L1 shattered, which gave me a spinal cord injury, so I was paralyzed from the waist down. Ever since like last October, I've been working on standing up and trying to get a serve over. I finally got it over and it felt really good because I had been working up for it for like a year and I was like, I didn't put all this work in for like just to give up. And number three, back in the late 90s, two kids in Williamsburg, Virginia named Kate McNeil and Paul Damon were best friends. She secretly had a huge crush on him and tried to kiss him once, but he turned his head. Then they lost touch when he joined the Navy. But 24 years after they met, they recently reconnected on Facebook and now they're engaged. They're getting married this July. Those are your good news stories for Thursday, November 3rd on 107 Country PSK.